If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, you will probably recognize one of these. This is a painter's pole or an extension pole. Basically allows you to reach high places while you're painting, but it has a lot of DIY film uses as well. Probably the most common is to use this as a boom pole when you're recording sound, but it does have other uses. In fact, if you can add a quarter 20 thread to the end of this, you can attach any accessory that uses that thread. And as you know, there's a lot of them, like an audio recorder, for example. However, the trick is to make an adapter for this. And this is something that I actually did in the past out of an old paint roller. But if you look these up on the internet, there are these adapters are all these small compact models that screw onto the end of this and give you a quarter 20 thread on the end. And uh, they will run you from about 15 to $20. But I decided to take another shot at this and make my own, and so I made this out of some PVC parts and some screws, and this fits nicely onto the end of this by friction. And some added security is this set screw right here. You tighten this down, and this thing is not gonna come off easily. Now, I made this uh, for about three to four dollars, and I'm gonna show you how I did it right now. Okay, here's all of our parts. Now, uh, before we actually assemble this, we're gonna do a little prep work here. I'm gonna explain the prep work I've done. And uh, here on our uh, half inch plug, we've drilled a quarter inch hole right there. And notice I'm using the octagonal shaped PVC plug uh, because it's the easiest one to find the center of the plug. You just connect the corners in an X and uh, that'll tell you where the center is and you just drill it out, very simple. Uh, something else I've done to this too, in order to extend the reach of the threads I will be feeding through this, I've also countersunk this hole from the bottom here. And you can't really see it there, but I've actually, I took a half inch drill bit and drilled it out a little bit so that it was countersunk. You can use a standard countersink if you want to. I used a half inch drill bit so that the threads would stick out more. Now the other thing I did here was I took this coupler and I drilled a hole toward the bottom of one end. And basically I found a little divot and I just drilled it out uh, with an 11 30 seconds drill bit because that's the hole size you need when you tap a quarter inch hole or a quarter 20 thread. And so that's what I did. I didn't actually use a tap on this. I just used the screw. This is our smallest screw here. And uh, I just force threaded it because it was plastic. And uh, now it just fits in like so. And when I'm ready to use it as a set screw, I can just tighten it. But for right now, we're just gonna leave it like that. And if you're worried about this stripping out, I wouldn't worry too much. It's pretty snug, the odds of it stripping out. It's gonna take a lot of use to strip out. So I wouldn't worry about it. You can always reinforce it, I guess, with some metal threads, but uh, for our purposes, I don't think that's necessary. So now this is ready to go. And so assembly is really easy. You just take the plug here and you take the longer threaded screw. You just drop it in the bottom. It's gonna stick out. And then you're gonna take your knurled large nut right here. And actually, you can put it either way. I'm gonna actually do it the other way right now so that we get the most surface space on the top. And take your flathead screwdriver, insert it like that, and you can just hold the knurled threads and the knurledness around the nut right here and just turn on the threads. And it's gonna go in snugly. So there you go, there's your platform for whatever you decide to put on this. And then you're just gonna press fit the plug into the coupler and uh, there you go, you're all ready to go. Now you've probably already noticed there are no threads on the inside of this coupler. So in order to get it to sit nice and tight on the end of this pole, I fortified the threads here with some gaffer's tape, about four layers, duct tape will work as well. So by the time this coupler comes along and seats itself, it's nice and snug. And you can also tighten the set screw for some extra security. And if you do that, this is not gonna come off. And now you've opened up the entire world of your quarter 20 universe to the end of your painter's pole. Something else you might want to do is add a rubber washer here to the end, so whatever you do attach, uh, the rubber washer will collapse, and the odds of it unscrewing are a lot less likely than if there is no rubber washer there. So that's something you can try. Now, if you do want to make this project, all the parts uh, and associated links are listed down below in the description. And if you want to do more of this kind of thing, please come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com, and I thank you for watching.